So we have our inner and outer terrains, but let's face it, they're pretty dull, right? They're just kind of these white blobs kind of floating in space. So let's spice them up a little bit and add our overlays. So let's go into Unity and let's work on our inner terrain first. So I'm going to click on my inner terrain. And now over here, let's look for our paintbrush. It says paint texture. I'm going to click on that. And now underneath here, we got this edit texture area. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say add texture. And then we get a couple of slots up here that we can drop some stuff into. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add, this is our inner terrain. So let's put our inner Google terrain uh, or overlay in here. So I'm going to come down here to my terrain backup. Okay. Remember that's where we put our satellite images under terrain backup. And I'm going to grab my inner right here. So in this case, Oakmont underscore G. And I'm going to drag it into this spot right here. Um, make sure your metallic and your smoothness are turned down. Now in your size right here, we need to enter in the size of our terrain. So what was that for me? Well, in my spreadsheet, it was 1490. So I'm going to put 1490 in here. In both X and Y, 1490. 90 and then i'm going to hit add and voila all of a sudden our inner terrain has some life to it it's starting to look like a golf course and uh, no, don't get too excited okay we have a long way to go this is really just kind of a reference image so we can get some an orientation of where we're at but i'm flying around here i can hit w to move forward if i'm holding down the right mouse button s moves back a b q E, all right, remember I can move around and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll down in here I'm going to make sure that things kind of look up and line up perspectively now Mine don't Okay, you can see here That my bunkers aren't quite lining up And there are subsequent videos in this series where we create a hill shade and we adjust these things Okay, so I'm not going to cover it in this video. We're just really adding our overlays here. But in the subsequent video, look for the hill shade video where we create a hill shade and then we adjust these images. Okay. But for now, let's stick to the plan and let's, let me show you something else here. So right now we have our Google um, uh, overlay on here. Now, if I come up here to edit texture right here and I hit edit texture, I can replace this now with my Bing. So let me come up here and drag my Bing in here. Bang. Now I hit apply. And now my Bing satellite overlay is in here. And I can see if it is lined up. And it's, I think, a little bit better, but it's still off. This bunker, to me, needs moved over a little bit. So we still need some work. So I definitely need to go into my Hillshade videos. Okay. And you'll see the Hillshade videos. Go to the table of content. Uh, if yours don't line up and look at the hill shade videos so anyway so now we have our overlays for our inner done well let's do them for our outer now here is our outer way out here so i'm going to come over here click on my outer go to my brush here do edit texture add texture and then i'm going to take my let's start with my google drop that in there and what was my outer terrain size ah it was 4500 so i'm going to come up here maybe change this to 4500 4500 add and voila now you can see that our outer has an overlay on it and you can see now that we get a little bit of long distance terrain we got some of those mountains out there and stuff so that looks pretty cool and again, just like the inner, we can also change this. So I can go here to edit texture here, and I can replace this with my Bing, right? So there's what the Bing looks like. I think the coloring on the Google looks a little bit better, just me, but um, I'm going to hit apply. And now I have my satellite overlays applied to my inners. Just be aware that this is where you change those textures. So we're going to be importing some like SVGs in here from Inkscape. You can replace this. So just be aware of when we say replacing your textures, this is how you do it. You come over here to edit, 
edit texture and you can drag different things in here okay for it to appear on your terrain 